you write a lot about the importance of our microbiome, which is something <laughs> I've heard a lot about and sort of am convinced is incredibly important, but I have no idea exactly what it is or, or what to do about it. So what, what, explain the microbiome. Is this like well, your gut the, health? Yeah, it, it, is, it is your gut health. Um, and it's all these different bacteria that live inside your gut. And the, a diversity of that bacteria is often associated with the better gut health. But I think the reason I got into this specifically was because people all often say, I want to Im improve my immunity. I want to increase my immunity, which is a very good thing to do. It, it's not taking the place of vaccines and everything else, but the idea that you want to be as prepared as you can, well, how do you improve your immunity? And I think once you started to dig into this, I realized that 80%, roughly, of your overall immunity comes from your gut. It's called the GALT, the gut-associated lymphoid tissue. And I just thought that was really interesting. Some scientists that I was, talk that I was talking to about this said, it is so specific that what you eat in the morning could potentially have an impact on how serious a disease like COVID might affect you that night. Your immunity can change, wax and wane that quickly, and so much of that is dependent on your microbiome. Is there anything one can actually do? I mean, how do you like fix your biome? Yeah, so, I mean, first of all, I, sh I should point out that you're right. It, the, 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 some people have even said it's sort of the second brain because of all the, the impact on cognition. And again, something I didn't know until I started researching this book, uh, a significant amount of your serotonin, which is the feel-good hormone, you know, that we associate with, with elevated mood, is also produced in your gut. And we think of these as neurotransmitters, so being in the brain, but they're actually produced in your gut. So, you, you know, I, I guess it's not surprising to anybody, but your diet dramatically impacts your mood. And, and we know that. So there's all sorts of different ways to, to improve the, the microbiome. I think there was a couple things that jumped out. I mean, you can get it tested. You can find out uh, what kind of microbiome you have. And some of these tests are even granular to the point where they can tell you if there are certain foods that would be better for you or worse for you. But as a general rule, the more diverse your microbiome, the better. And, and what that means is it's probably not a superfood for you, but certain foods like uh, foods that are fermented uh, may add to the overall um, diversity of your microbiome. Um, I, I found that I kept a food journal as I was sort of working on this. I found that fermented foods like pickles and things like that, kimchi actually were kind of a, 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 a really good thing for me. I, I felt much more energized after I ate foods like that. My mood was elevated. And then I came to learn that it was probably impacting my immunity as well. I don't want to overly simplify it because there's ways to test the health of your microbiome and there are specific things for specific people. But I think it's safe to say that okay. we haven't given it a lot of attention, you know, and 80% of our immunity roughly comes from that. So we should.